How's it going and welcome to Formar Ranch. Today we have a head-to-head -head caliber comparison video and these are probably some of my favorite videos to do because more often than not it's really just to satisfy my own curiosity and I hope it'll satisfy someone else's curiosity out there. Today what I was curious about is the 22 mag against the 22 long rifle. So we're going to be comparing these and here's my disclaimer up front that I try to do with all these videos. This is entertainment purposes only. It is not a scientific test whatsoever. I guarantee you someone in the comments below is going to critique how unscientific this test is. And I totally get that. I do the best I can. But at the end of the day, this is just for fun and again to satisfy the curiosity of myself and hopefully others. That said, I do try to implement as many controls as I possibly can. So let's go over those real quick before we dive into the test. First one being that we're going to use the same firearm for both. So this is just a little heritage single action rimfire revolver that I'm able to swap the cylinders out which lets us use the same exact barrel length and barrel for that matter to keep that control constant there. The second control is that both the bullet weights are going to be 40 grains so that we have the same amount of mass going down range. The one area where I was unable to make it a perfectly one-to-one -one comparison this time around is the type of projectile itself. So on one hand with the 22 mag we have essentially a jacketed soft point, whereas on the 22 long rifle, it's just a round nose lead all the way around, not jacketed. The 22 long rifle is advertised to be going down range at about 1200 feet per second, whereas the 22 mag is gonna be going down range at 1875 feet per second. So really, it's gonna be a difference in velocity, and let's go ahead and find out what that velocity does. Okay, so we're gonna start with the 22 long rifle first, and we'll see what happens. Not much. In fact, we'll go ahead and take one more shot to the right of that. Two more shots. Okay, so taking a look, as you'd expect, not a whole lot of damage was done to the center block. Just maybe like an eighth of an inch crater and uh, maybe a quarter inch diameter. So not a whole lot at all and as you'd expect on the inside there's no penetration or damage there whatsoever all right so we have the 22 magnum cylinder switched over into this gun we'll go ahead and take a couple shots unless uh, it breaks on the first shot we'll try to do about the same thing to the lower part of that center block as we did with the 22 long rifle so here we go Excellently clipped an edge there, so that's why we actually lost a bit of a chunk, but it really doesn't look too different than the 22 long rifle. So I'll kind of back up so you can take a look at that. Maybe a little bit bigger craters. Definitely a little bit deeper, but uh, not anything too drastically different there. Looking at the inside, there's not a whole lot in there either. No spalling off of the back. so. Pretty much the same as the 22 long rifle in that aspect so far, at least against a hard target like a center block. Okay, so now we're switched over to the 22 long rifle cylinder. We're gonna go ahead and shoot the water jugs and see how many we penetrate through. Okay, good center hit through the first jug. You can see right there where we had our entry hole and it's slowly leaking out the back. The hole's so small it's not leaking too fast because not a lot of air can get in. So we got a leak through the third. Got to look closer at this third one. I don't see a bullet in the jug. So I wonder if it's lodged behind this label it doesn't appear so. So we don't always recover it. Usually we do, and it's kind of cool to look at when we do. But we had a total of, I guess seeing as that we didn't capture it, we'll count it as a penetration of three jugs with the 22 long rifle. Okay, now once again, we're switched over to the 22 mag cylinder. So we'll go ahead and fire that shot at the water jugs. This 
So nice dead center entry. Obviously we have an exit. Looks like it's actually a little bit torn. So second entry, second jug exit. Entry hole, exit. Let's see, we got another entry. So we did make it into a fourth jug. And look at that, the bullet is in there. So I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's go ahead and get it out. So there is the 22 Magnum around. Still in pretty much perfect shape. No expansion whatsoever. So there you go. 22 mag. Alright, so there you have it. The 22 Magnum against the 22 Long Rifle. It seems like that extra velocity coming down the pipe with the 22 Mag gives it just what it needs to get through a little bit more of the soft targets. On the hard targets, honestly, it's such a small, light projectile that I didn't personally see too big of a difference. A little bit more of a crater formed on those center blocks from the 22 Mag, of course, with a little bit more of that muzzle energy. So as always, this was just for fun, guys. I hope it entertained you and satisfied your curiosity a little bit. If you want to see some more of these head-to-head -head caliber comparisons, leave it in the comments below. I don't have every single firearm out there, but if there's something I can make happen, I definitely will. I'd like to thank you for stopping by Forum Our Ranch and for taking the time to watch this video. And as always, have a good one, guys.